and welcome to Badminton Unlimited's special five-part series looking at the top contenders at this month's Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. In part three this week, we focus on the enthralling women's doubles discipline as we speak with four of the top ten qualified pairs about their Tokyo qualifying campaigns. Uh, especially for me that uh, maybe I told in the social media that I uh, would be my last Olympics. We've heard from one of the top women's doubles contenders. Let's now take a look at how the pairs earn their tickets to the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. For badminton, 172 players will make their way to the biggest multi-sport event in Japan. 32 of these make the cut in the women's doubles category as 16 qualified pairs. Nations can enter a maximum of two pairs if both are ranked in the world's top eight. Otherwise, it is one pairing until the roster of 16 pairs has been completed. Through the Continental Representation Play System, each of the five BWF Continental Confederations of Asia, Africa, Europe, Americas and Oceania will be guaranteed at least one entry. However, pairs from the respective continents must be ranked 50 or above in the BWF Race to Tokyo ranking list of the 15th June 2021. If a player qualifies in both doubles and singles, an unused quota will be allocated to the next best ranked eligible athlete of that gender in the singles event from the same ranking list. This ensures an equal number of 86 men and women qualify. Based on the above rules, here's the final list of women's doubles players who have qualified. For all doubles events, there shall be four seeded pairs. Seedings for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games shall be determined later on this week on the 9th of July using the BWF rankings. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota will be leading the women's doubles field at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games this month. The world number ones carry the burden of not only being the top pair, but they are also home favourites, as Japan looked to retain the Olympic gold in the discipline. え、そうですね。ま、オリンピックは2人ですごくこう、ま、一番の目標にしてた、してるので、ま、すごくこう特別な気持ちはあるんですけど、自分たちだけでこうなんていうか今の位置にいるわけでもないですし、すごくこうサポートされ、応援してもらったりサポートしてもらっているので、まそれをこう恩返しできる場かなと思うのですごくこう特別かなと思います。同じになるんですけど、オ
というふうに思ってます。そ,う、まあ、そこで、うんまあ、コロナでこう1年延期になったりもして、まあ、苦しい時もあってそこでのこう夢の舞台でもあるので、まあ、思いっきり自分たちがこう楽しんでるところを見てもらってそれ,それがこう元気だったり感,感動したって言ってもらえるような。ふうになればいいなと思ってます。For Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara, the race to Tokyo was their first foray into Olympic qualifying. And while it did not start off smoothly, a change of fortunes midway through their campaign now see the Japanese duo as hot favorites to grab gold on home soil. ないというかまあ初めてのオリンピックレースっていうのもあったのでまあ最初の方はもう前回でというかまあ全部全ての大会出てで後半まあ一応こう選択したりする機会もまあ何個かあってまあそれで自分たちのポイントと照らし合わせたりしてちょっとなんだろうまあ大きな怪我とかはなかったのでそこでの問題はなかったんですけどまあなんか何週間にも続く時はちょっとまあ抑えてそのポイントの高いところだけ選んで出るっていうのはありました、まあ、実際に試合はなくなってしまったのでそういうのはあんまりなかったかなレースに関してはなかったかなとは思うんですけどちょっと前半自分たちがまあ遅れを取っていて逆にまあ他の日本人ペアはまあ成績を収めている中であのまあ8月の世界選手権で自分たちがやっぱり優勝しないと今後のそのレースも厳しい展開になるなっていうふうには感じていたのでやっぱりまずその世界選手権でどれだけ自分たちがまたそこであの成,績成績を残せるかっていうのが一つ鍵だったのでその世界選手権で2連覇できたっていうところは自分たちにとってもすごいまた自信になりましたしなんかそこから少しずつまたこう結果が。残せていけてたので、自分たちのそのレースの中で最初のキーポイントになったのは世界選手権なのかなと思います。まあ、今話にもあったように、世界選手権では一応優勝してまあ、自分たちが結構こう調子が上がっていい状態だったんですけど、そのまあ、ちょうどコロナが流行ってきた。世界にこう流行ってきた時期に。2020年の全オープンで。あまりちょっと自分たちが目標としていた結果まで届かなくてでそこでなんだろう、まあ、結構レースも終盤に差し掛かってて大事な大会だったのにもかかわらずあまりちょっと調子が良くなかったので、まあ、その後コロナが流行ってきて延期になったっていう、まあ、状況も確認はできたんですけど、まあ、そこでうーん。なんだろうまあ、自分たちとしては、まあ、オリンピックが延期になってよかったなって思うところも、まあ、少しあるかなとは思いますそうですね、まあ、あのオリンピック自体が延期になった時に、まあ、緊急事態宣言だったりっていうのもまあ続いて練習がなかなかできなかった時っていうのはやっぱりこう気持ち的にもモチベーションが今までにないぐらい下がってしまう時期っていうのはあったんですけど、まあ、でもあのそれからこうなコロナが少しずつ収まってきた時に、まあ、合宿だったりとか試合っていうのも少しずつ再開され始めた時にもう一回しっかりその1年後のオリンピックに向けて頑張ろうっていう気持ちで、まあ、再スタートできてたのかなって思うのでまあ現状もやっぱりそのオリンピックに向けてオリンピックがあると信じて、まあ、やっているから頑張れてるっていうのがあるのでやっぱりまあこういう状況で。今もオリンピックがあと本番の試合になってしまってその3月以降に試合が、まあ、できないっていう状況ではあるんですけど、まあ、それは自分たちだけじゃなくてどの国も同じ状況なので、まあ、そこはしっかりなんとか自分たちでこうオリンピックに向けて標準を合わせて作っていけたらなと思います、まあ、やっぱりその、まあ、選手たちはまあもちろんやりたいっていうその一心で多分オリンピックをやっぱ一番の目標にしている選手がやっぱ多いと思うので、まあ、その中でまあ一般の人たちだったりやらない方がいいんじゃないかっていう声もまあ出てる
中で、まあ、オリンピックを開催するっていうこと自体なんだろうまあこう日本にとってもすごいなんだ決断というかその海外の選手を、まあ、観客は入れないかもしれないですけど海外の選手をこう迎え入れるってなった時に、まあ、すごいなんだろう重圧がのしかかる試合になるのかなとも思うので、まあ、そこを、まあ、そういう状況の中でやるからこそ、まあ、選手たちも、うんまあ、今まで以上になんか自分たちの力をこう発揮できるのかなっていうのもあるので。まあ、よりこう日本人の選手とかはまあ頑張るんではないかなとは思ってます。Time for a quick break. When we return, we'll continue our preview of the women's doubles field with top pairs from other nations. 저희가이제뭐어린나이가아니기때문에지금마지막이라는생각을가지고준비에임하고있어서좀후회없이최대한미련없이좀최대한열심히준비해서올림픽을이제좋은결과로이제만들려고노력중입니다웰컴백유어워칭바빈턴언리미티드스페셜프리뷰오브더토키오2020올림픽스나우얼리어위헤드온재판즈웨먼스페어즈후어보트페이버스터클린치고드타임나트턴아웃텐션투더챌린지즈말했다시피뭐저희가뭐어린나이가아니기때문에다음올림픽을나갈수있을지없을지도모르고이번올림픽을마지막이라고생각하고열심히준비하고있고뭐어렸칭찬이랑어렸을때부터올림픽같이나가는게꿈이었었거든요그꿈이이제한발짝다가온것같아서설레기도하고좋은결과로마무리했으면좋겠습니다저희가이제뭐어린나이가아니기때문에지금마지막이라는생각을가지고준비에임하고있어서좀후회없이최대한미련없이좀최대한열심히준비해서올림픽을이제좋은결과로이제만들려고노력중입니다 For Korea's Lee Sohee and Shing Seung Chan, their Tokyo Olympic preparation could not have ended on a better note. The dynamic pair clinched the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals in January after a challenging 2019 that cast doubts over their Olympic qualification. And they've done it. And Lee Sohee and Shing Seung Chan survived six match points against them in the second game. To win this title. 우선이제저희가이제19년도에이제소,소희랑이제저가부상으로인해서시합을못뛰었고조금이제쫓기는경기를하다보니까초반에이제한뭐중국인도네시아뭐이런경기에서는저희가쪼이제마음의여유가없으니까그런점에선좀많이좋은결과를내지못해서좀많이힘들었었어요저희가이제코리아오픈에서결승올라가고그다음에이제프랑스대회에서우승하고그계기로저희가조금다시자신감을찾고좀자리를좀잡을수있게된계기가되지않았나생각해요오마이갓니스와한엑스트라크리쇼트프롬신시앙찬 Played that off the floor. <laughs> Lee So He and Shin Siang Chan win the title here at the French Open. Ah, then, 저희가맞춰온시간은뭐중간에뭐헤어진기간도있지만그맞춤시간이일단길기도하지만그거와별개로이제서로좀원하는거랑그런거에대한대화를많이하다보니까좀좋은파트너십그런게나오지않았나
네, 저도 뭐 마찬가지로 이제 서로 이제 너무 오랜 시간을 같이 지내왔고 파트너가 아니어도 같이 지내온 시간이 많기 때문에 서로의 이제 뭐 성향이나 뭐 그런 부분이 좀잘 알고 있었고 그래서 이제 좀 많이 다쳐서 부상을 많이 최대한 저희는 중요하게 생각을 했고요 준비를 하면서 그러고 이제 서로 이제 장단점을 파악해서 서로 보완해 주려고 그런 팀워크를 좀 로테이션이나 그런 거를 좀잘 어울이, 어우러질 수 있게 좀 운동을 열심히 했던 것 같아요. Shin has tasted success at the Olympics, having won bronze in 2016. Lee was also a participant at the Rio Olympics, and that certainly gives them hope their experience will hand them the edge over a field of mostly first timers. 일단 지금 올림픽을 준비하는 과정은 코로나 때문에 이제. 저번 올림픽 준비하는 과정과는 완전히 다르다고 생각이 들고 지금 열악한 환경, 뭐 어수선한 분위기 속에서도 그래도 어 그래도 저번 올림픽을 출전했던 게 조금 에 도움이 됐는지 그런 살짝의 노하우도 있는 것 같고 몸 관리에 관한 뭐 그런 노하우나 그런 게 있어서 그래도 좀잘 돼가고 있는 것 같아요. tidak gampang untuk masuk di qualified Olympic ini terus dengan berjalannya waktu dan sudah di uh, masuk di Olympic ini sih saya merasa apa ya um, sangat uh, menggebu-gebu cuman saya tetap harus mengontrol gitu. mengontrol hati saya mengontrol pikiran saya bahwa ini harus dipersiapkan dari hal-hal yang kecil We really want to make it best in the Olympics, especially for me that uh, maybe I told in the social media that I, I would be my last Olympics, but however, I don't think uh, too far. So I just want to, I just want to give the best uh, in the Olympics, this Olympics in Tokyo, yeah. <laughs> Indonesia will rest all its hopes for a first Olympic medal in women's doubles on the shoulders of Grisha Poli and Apriyani Rahayu. But the world number six duo have been unfazed by the expectations right from the beginning of their partnership. Both of us really have nothing to lose. Like, we really just want to give the best in every each tournament, not only in the qualified for qualified qualification for the Olympics, but before that, like in 2017, we just, we both just like, you know, um, just want to give the best and want to, to, willing to go, you know, like eager to win the championship, like in each tournament. Sebenarnya kita hanya jalanin aja ya, kita hanya jalanin dengan senang gitu, dengan senang gitu. Jadi gak ada yang kayak. Aduh, kayak gimana nanti nih? Jadi ya memang ada yang seperti itu, cuman kita harus mencari jalan keluar seperti apa aja gitu sih. Nggak ada yang perlu kayak diribatkan gitu. Our target uh, to qualify for the Olympics, it's achieved by the end of 2019, if I'm not mistaken. We just want to achieve more uh, in the tournaments, in the, in the, in the qualification uh, period. It's a blessing for us. I mean, we, we just do our part and we just give our best in each tournament and then the result will follow the championship and when we win like Indonesia or whichever is that it's it's just a bonus so I think more memorable in the process of uh, with what we've been through together memang betul juga dengan kata kagres kita juara Bukan. Sebenarnya kita bangga jadi juara, cuma kan itu lebih bangga lagi dengan proses yang sudah kita lewati. Itu sangat apa namanya, sangat uh, berarti gitu. Sebenarnya juara juga berarti, tapi yang kita melalui itu loh, melalui melalui juaranya itu seperti apa kita. Aku menikmati semuanya aja karena kan ini bukan mau maunya kita ya. Maksudnya kan sudah uh, udah ada seperti ini, kita hanya bisa menerima. Gitu. Kalau emosi kesel pasti ada, cuman emang kayak uh, kita juga harus nurunin ego sendiri kan kita juga nggak bisa mau, mau ngapain juga gitu mau ngapain lagi. Everything happen in this world have a reason, so God have a reason for me especially to 
take a rest first before you compete the biggest one, like in the Olympics. So that's a good one. That's why when I, you know, during the 2021 start in the Thailand, I was like, come on, that's I have I have the energy to go back again. Don't feel any tired anymore. So come on, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Our strategy actually is we never we never think about our opponent, whether they're good or they're weak. We just want to give our you know what what is in our best in in, in, in our self. So we we want to give it all out. So we have, so the more important here is to prepare ourselves first. So whether it's Korean, Chinese, or Japan, or whenever Malaysian, the Bulgarian, or Thailand, we will be ready for, for all of them. Especially we will be ready for ourselves. This is Olympics, it's, it's, it's different from other competition. Ambisi saya hanya hanya melakukan yang terbaik dari diri saya. Itu sih, itu ambisi saya. Jadi tidak balik lagi, enggak mikir banyak. Saya tidak mikir banyak. Enggak. Itu aja. In my social media, whether I get it or not, the story will be there. So I don't have anything hold me back right now. I just want to, you know, focus and uh, have a good preparation. I have done my my very, 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 very best, uh, you know, during this badminton life period. So that's all. So nothing to lose from me. Women's doubles is uh, probably one of the most physical demanding uh, categories in, in, in badminton and Fukushima and Hirose is obviously um, the number one qualifying pair. They are extremely steady on the, on the world circuit. Uh, sometimes in, in my book they are almost a little bit too steady, meaning to say that they are not taking a lot of chances. They like to see that suddenly some drop shots are coming, some really nice slice angle shots. Uh, it smashes down the line, but they have the same height, the same power, the same pace, the same placement, which makes it very predictable. Matsumoto and, uh, and Agahara is, uh, is obviously two times world champions. I feel that uh, the partnership is very dependent upon uh, Matsumoto. She's the one with um, the talent to change a situation around and suddenly come up with surprises and she's very strong in her defense uh, playing counter-attacking shots and following in and so on so Matsumoto is definitely the key in that partnership Chen 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 and Jia Yifan perhaps in my book are small favorites to win I think they have the edge they have that a little bit craziness they are taking a lot more chances they are playing a lot faster, they are going all out when they're playing well. And I think that can create the edge for, for that partnership. But I have another outsider, which is of course the UA and Li Jinhui. They are extremely good counter-attacking because they're standing very far off the court and uh, really going in very aggressive on the counter-attacking situation. I think Lian Shin is, is a very, very steady pair. Lee So He is uh, attacking a lot down the centre, uh, taking absolutely no chances and uh, makes it difficult for, for Shin to intercept at the net. Uh, however, I, I would say that the, the last few times we've seen them, Lee So He is much more active at the net than what she used to be, which I think can create an advantage for the partnership as well. Women's doubles is, is extremely specialized. Uh, they are very fit players. They are extremely good defensive players. I, I think the key for, for women's doubles is how are they going to create opportunities and chances to actually finish points. You have to be more adventurous. Uh, you have to go for angles. 
you you have to go for the uh, tricky drop shots, uh, really trying to make it tight in order to open up the defense and so on. Also, the placement of your smashes have to variate the whole time, and if you don't do that, it's it's becoming too simple. That's it for this special women's doubles preview. Next week, it's all about the super competitive mixed doubles discipline as Thailand's Dechapal Puova Ranukro and Sapsuri Teratanachai look to create history in Tokyo. Uh, this time is the second time for me. Yeah. And I will try my best to get the gold medal for Thailand. For more of the latest updates, news and special features on Tokyo Olympics, do log on to olympics.bwfbadminton.com. Bye-bye for now.